this is Andy. I don't know if he has a tiger musky, a good sized tiger musky on the line, or if it is just a midget fish, but he's been with this fish for quite a while already. And with the sun, I cannot see anything of what I am doing here. As you can see from the uh, title screen, we're at uh, Blue Water Lake, New Mexico. Blue Water Lake is about 30 miles west of Grants, New Mexico, just right off Interstate 40. Uh, this is about our fourth or fifth trip to Blue Water Lake. Our goal is to catch a tiger muskie on a fly. Uh, so far, we have been unsuccessful until yesterday. Yesterday, after um, giving up and changing over to a trout rod, and there's fish jumping around, and Romy's getting a little on the antsy side, and st stripping in a uh, a nymph, I hooked a, a small tiger muskie, 17 incher, and to my surprise, it did not cut through my. Uh, leader. You have to use a steel leader or a or very thick mono tippet to, to keep the fish from biting through your leader. But this small 17 incher managed to stay on so I've got my tiger muskie on a fly although I, I do want one of those big ones, 35 inches or better. Uh, this morning after fishing for tiger muskie I set up a uh, uh, indicator rig to fish for some trout. We could see some trout that were rising. So I set up an indicator rig with a uh, coronamid, a snow cone coronamid, and a copper john nymph. Uh, set my indicator about five, five or six feet above the, the nymphs. And um, after one cast, um, my indicator went down as I was stripping it in. Uh, set the hook and latched on to this fish. He's off and running. And right away I knew I had a huge fish on the... Okay, on you the want me to stop recording? I can't get to the net. Huh? Well, that's fine, even if he's... He's a carp? had a huge fish on the line and uh, well my first thought was a tiger muskie he's gonna he's gonna bite through my 4x tippet at any point but the fight went on and on and he wouldn't bite through it so I began to wonder what do I have maybe I have a uh, one of the trophy sized trout that are supposed to be in this lake uh, uh, but it wasn't fighting like a trout wasn't coming up and jumping and making runs so I had no idea what I had. Uh, saw a little bit of a tail. I thought it was a carp. Is it a carp? I don't think so. Until we finally got a pretty good idea on it when it finally made it to the surface. By the way, my uh, photographer is my lovely wife, Romy. Uh, she's my fishing companion. And luckily, a very good photographer. Otherwise, I wouldn't have... You don't drop the net. ...a record of uh, some of the fish that I caught. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down, Andy. And stop the filming so that I can help out, okay? Holy cow, that is a catfish. I saw that.
Yep, I've got him on the camera. I'll be darn. Get me some fly. Hold on, let me get the wide. Come on, wide. That's one happy dude. What about that guy, man? Catfish on a fly in the Copper John. Blue Water Lake. Man, this guy is huge. I don't know why I almost get my hand in it. Catfish on the fly. All right, now hold on till I switch over to camera, okay? okay. We uh, weighed him. He was 10 pounds, exactly. Measured him. He was 27 inches long. And uh, you can see in the next picture, of that, that one right there, the Copper John is just barely hanging onto his upper lip. Uh, he was released and swam away um, to, to fight again. Uh, just one remarkable fish.